Mm -mm. That is R&B artist Yola playing Sister Rosetta Tharp singing Strange Things Are Happening Every Day in the new movie Elvis. Now you may have heard that name before, Sister Rosetta Tharp, an Arkansas native known as the godmother of rock and roll. But her musical footprint from the 40s is just now being brought to light. TSB 11's Michaela Johnson shares just how big her impact on music is and why this newfound recognition has been a long time coming. A groundbreaking musician who paved the way for new artists and genres. Folk, rock, R&B, boogie woogie, jazz, blues, gospel, at a minimum were all of the genres that she had a great deal of impact on. She was one of the first charismatic solo female singers in gospel music. Sister Rosetta Tharp didn't just sing gospel, she altered it. Instead of using a piano like male gospel singers before her, she played an electric guitar. And I say, One, she was a woman playing the guitar, which is very unusual at that time because the guitar was associated with blues and it was associated with men. This unusual aspect of Sister Rosetta Tharp's music didn't end there. In the mid-40s, she worked with a trio who introduced a new style called Boogie Woogie. While she sang to this new style, she also danced to it, something that was new, different, and according to music professor Rolf Grosbeck, inspired the one people remember as the hit moving king, Elvis. Very physically moving. She didn't just stand in one place and sing. She she just moved. She just moved in a very very free way. And I think a lot of his onstage presence owes a lot to her as well. They said she's doing something like what is morphing into rock and roll now. This is what makes her the godmother of rock and roll. And when she get, went abroad and gave tours in the 50s and 60s, some of the people at the tours were guitarists like Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck. These kind of big rock and roll guitar. They sit, listen to Sister Rosetta Tharp and said that's like our inspiration. But as she inspired the next major genre of rock and roll and its artists, her name was never really connected to it. It was hard for African Americans to sell their music for white audiences. Sister Rosetta Tharp's impact was almost erased. We'll accept the white musicians doing it, but we won't accept the African Americans who inspired that. And that sort of thing was just so much a part of the early to mid 20th century. And it's ended up with the erasure, I think, of a lot of African American musicians. Artists like Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Little Richard. These are the names with the most rock and roll notoriety, not the godmother of the genre. But a new page turned in 2018 when Sister Rosetta Tharp finally got her due. It's been long overdue. I'm honored to induct Sister Rosetta Tharp into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think bringing Sister Rosetta Tharp into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a way of saying we're going to do that. We're not going to have ironclad boundaries because rock and roll itself doesn't. Here at home, the boundaries she broke are beginning to see light thanks to the induction. Right off of Main Street in downtown Little Rock, the cotton plant native's face with guitar in hand is now a mural with the words of one of her songs, Shout, Sister Shout. As a creative, painting someone who is a creative who never received recognition in her lifetime, like that's, that's, that's a hard truth. It's a hard truth lead muralist Jessica Jones is happy to face to get people familiar with the godmother of rock and roll. That she had such impact and for so long didn't get recognition, um, you know, I think it's it's never too late. It's never too late is a sentiment Dr. Grosbeck echoes because as he explains, many genres pay homage to Sister Rosetta Tharp even if they don't realize it. If it was important to Elvis, if it was important to Jeff Beck and so forth, it's important to us. We need to know more about this sort of thing. And Sister Rosetta Tharp is so much a germ, a foundation from which a great deal of this music came. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like the sister. Sister Rosetta Tharp inducted into the Arkansas Women's Hall of Fame in April, and that interactive mural located behind the Bella Vita Jewelry Store downtown is expected to be completed this week.